Hello, hello everyone and welcome to this video that is going to show you how to connect Active Campaign up with Calendly if you are using Calendly. For those of you who are in my world, you will know that I use Calendly as my booking system so that when anybody wishes to book with me, they can literally just go to this link and book. And then what will happen in the background, it will do everything else such as actually sending a Zoom link to them, actually scheduling that Zoom link, taking the payment, sending the reminders, sending a text reminder, etc. The one thing it doesn't do is send the details over to my email marketing system, which in this case is Active Campaign. I will do future videos which will show how to connect it to other places as well. Now, a lot of the other places you have to use Zapier to be able to do it, but with Active Campaign, they have something internal that allows you to do this. And the way I use it is that I make it so that when anybody books a power hour with me, if it's the first time they're entering into my world and the first time they're coming into my email list, it'll send them a welcome sequence. What I first need to do is connect it up. So in Active Campaign on the left hand side, you will have this box here, which is two squares on top of each other saying apps. Now, all these apps are what it can integrate with. Some of them require Zapier to be able to connect, but with Calendly, it is actually something that just directly connects in. So if you click on Calendly, what it will do is if you were disconnected, so I'm obviously connected, you would click connect account at the top and then it would take you to a screen, which you can't see, but it'll, you'll be logging into Calendly. And then what it does is connects it up. Then once it's connected up here, you can see all the sessions that you have set up inside Calendly. So these are all the ones that I've got set up here. And you can pick the ones that you want to be active. So they will actually send the information through. And all you have to do is just click on one of the meetings and then you would basically just change the settings. So I haven't set this up for this one because people are booking a one-to-one -one meeting with me. I don't want them to come into my email list automatically. Whereas people who are booking onto a power hour with me, I do. So how we do it is we just map the fields over. So on the left-hand side are the fields inside Calendly. On the right hand side are the fields inside Active Campaign. So, what I've done here is in Active Campaign, I have created some custom fields, which I'm going to show you in a second, so that this information can be passed through. Currently, I don't actually need this information, but in the future, I might. So, you, don't, you could easily just send through the email, the first name, and the last name. So, all you do is on the drop down menu, you would pick what information you want from Calendly. So I want the email. And where do you want that information to go? So obviously this defaults to the email. Similar with the first name, because I've clicked first name and then first name. And then that could be all the information you want to actually get passed through. But if you did want to create these custom fields, you want to go into list. I'm just going to open this up in a new tab. And on the left hand side, you've got manage fields. And then as you can see down here under a I've created a section called service details. I have three different fields called calendar event title, which is a text input, calendar start time, which is a date input, and a calendar end time again, which is a date time. All you would do is, I would always advise creating a group. So add a group, call it Calendly or anything like that that you wish to call it. So obviously mine's called service details. Add a field. So for whatever it is that information you want to collect, such as the event title, the start time or the end time. The other information you can pull through, so you can pull through any IDs, you can pull through the duration, the location of it, so you can pull over who created it, when it's scheduled, how much the payment was, their phone number, you can pull more information through if you want. But as a basic, you will want their email and you will want their first name. And then all you do is literally just click save and that is done, they are in. Then what happens is they automatically get applied tags so I'm going to show you what these tags look like. And this is when you can connect it up to everything else as well. This is my calendar integration automation. You don't have to have an automation. You could literally just have it that they get passed in and they get put on a list. So here we've got every person who comes through on Calendly will automatically have this tag applied to them. So Calendly dash integration. And then depending on what they book will depend on the name. It always goes that it adds a tag Calendly dash integration. 
and then it'll be dash and then it'll be the name of the actual event so if i just go into calendly and click on the automation power hour i will see this event is called automation power hour so the tag that gets applied automatically you can't edit this the tag that gets applied is calendly dash integration as we've just said so you can see there calendly dash integration and then a dash and then after that dash is the name of whatever the event is called in Calendly. Automation Power Hour. That's what it's called in Calendly. And it uses an underscore as the space in between any word. So if this was actually called the event strategy session, then the tag that would get applied would be Calendly dash integration dash strategy underscore session and by knowing that it means i've then been able to set this automation up so that what happens is when someone books they will get subscribed to my master contact list this now means that i can email them so i would 100 percent recommend you as a bare minimum you do that you set up an automation the trigger would be the tag calendar integration is added and the next step would be subscribe to this list and put them in your master list and then i have this if else for the different events that i have and that's just so that I can set if it's an automation power hour we've booked and that's recognized by the tag, I want you to subscribe them to the customer list and also add the tag services automation power hour, services customer. If it's a client discussion we've booked, I just want you to put customer on because that means that this person is a customer with myself. So I just want them to have the customer tag on. And again, services customer. If it's digital support assistance, then I just want them to have these tags. And if it's a new client meeting, then I want to add the tag lead calendar meeting. And that means that they're a lead. But as you can see, I've not added them to the list there. So as bare minimum though, as you want, you want this tag calendar dash integration as your start point, And you want it to subscribe them to the master contact list. And that is it. It will all be connected up. It should run perfectly fine for you. I've not had any hiccups whatsoever. All you need to be aware of is if you change the name of your event here and you've got something like me with this if else, you will need to change because the tag will change. If you change this event name, the tag will change for any future people who book on. So I do hope that helps. If you haven't got Calendar set up and you want to look at setting that up, 100% check out, go over to our, our website um, on the link itmoon.co.uk forward slash online dash bookings dash made dash easy and that is our course where you can take it at any time that you want and it basically takes you step by step through actually setting up this system here that i have in calendly and obviously some more information on the page around it i will make sure the link is in the description for you though and if you haven't already subscribe to our channel hit the like button any questions you've got please comment away and if you have found it useful drop us a comment as well take care everybody and have a fantastic day